next, it is a light heavyweight championship fight between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Tito Ortiz. champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. now for this lightweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Tito. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, he is the reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, and back your corners, and not
So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make. So he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. Chuck Liddell. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by the Iceman. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, what a punch. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Massive key to the body lane. Both guys appear to land there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, single collar tie now. But Yo gets the tie clinch here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Single collar tie here. Ooh, blocks the shot. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Down into his mouth. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Get it right out. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat all the way. Oh, man, that was slick. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the armbar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in. 
from the top position. Five minutes in the books. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Okay, ready? You ready? All right, round two. Out of range with that one. Tie. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming. Oh, man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that thing. Shake that thing. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, big shot lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Right hand punches the clinch. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands a big ease from his hole. Takedown defense holds up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Tito gets in the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Left hand punch. They continue to exchange. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then try to shove it under her. Not. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Oh, nice job by him there to move it to half guard. Not much resistance. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now, now he's up there, now he can escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. And he landed the right hand there. Ortiz, his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to go at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, has the guard closed here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Iceman. Ground and pound strike is true. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Chuck Liddell. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. 
get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strokes. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. with the ground and pound strike. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Chuck Liddell. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations, certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it and you are seeing why. This is one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Close guard. Oh, hammer fist here by Tito. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Tito ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to... And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Ooh, 
Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Ortiz. Good, solid strike on the ground. Liddell gets back up again. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh. <laughs> Uppercuts right on the chin. was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 29 seconds of the third round. Defending the winner by the belt and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the UFC fight heavyweight champion of the world. You just heard it there from Bruce Buffer. DC, you have heard those words before yourself. This was the glamour division for a long time, and the champion remains as such. Because of the great champions of the past in the UFC at 205, the Tito Ortiz, Randy Couture, John Jones, myself, so many great fighters have held this belt that it has been long. The glamour.